What's up guys, I'm in Wales. Cheers. All right, guys, what's going on? So I'm out here in Wales and I'm getting ready to do the infamous fan dance race. I'm here at the start point. If you guys are familiar with it, here's the red phone box right here. For those of you that don't know, the fan dance race is a race that is done every summer and winter. It is a 24 kilometer hike carrying about 45 pounds of weight. That's 35 pounds dry and then a whole bunch of water and food. And it's a 24 kilometer march through the Brecon Beacons mountain range all the way up and over the Penny Fan Peak, which is the highest peak in South Wales. This race is a replica of what the SAS must go through during their first week of selection. And people come from all over the world to do this race. We actually have a guy here from Australia <laughs> who I met yesterday during a weigh-in. This dude's an absolute stud. I think he said he was 60 years old. 62, 62 years old out here. He's going to crush this race. <laughs> but yeah, so minus the jet lag and the lack of sleep, I think I'm going on about three hours total of sleep right now. Um, we're going to get it done. I was actually able to get here because Crossfire Packs sponsored my way out here. And I'm actually going to be rocking a Crossfire pack today to get this done. I'm using a one-of-a-kind DG3. A DG3 is kind of like their flagship ruck, but I'm using a one-of-a-kind version of it specifically tailored for me for this race. So I'm calling it the Gritty DG3. I've got about 45 pounds of weight in that pack, and that's what's coming with me during this entire trek through the Brecon Beacons today. Got about an hour till the race starts. I'm gonna finish packing everything up, and then we'll kick this thing off. Yeah, I really just rushed over there to the start point a little early because from what I've heard, it backs up pretty significantly. And if you want to stay in the front, you got to get here early and get your spot in the front of the line before you actually start the race. So that's why I'm out here so early. Yesterday during the weigh-in, I actually ran into a Gritty Soldier fan who knew I was coming out here to do the fan dance. He goes by Voodoo Ray, but his real name is Wayne, like John Rain, right here. Yeah, was, <laughs> he's about to crush it today too, or smash it as they say, right? Yeah, smash it. Smash, smash it, it hard. Right? So smash it hard. Maybe about eight, nine hours. What? No, 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 no. I think it'll be faster than that. We got to get it done in four hours. I'm up, no, I won't, I won't, I'm 60 years old, Dan. Can you believe this? 60 years old, he's out here doing this. <laughs> I can't even believe um, it. Yeah, he's a really cool guy. Really glad to be able to meet him. Um, we we're going over some tactics on how we're going to tackle this. And uh, sounds like a lot of running the downhills, walking the uphills. Hopefully that doesn't take too much time off because there are a lot of uphills. So I'm really just gonna jog out as much as I can and only walk when I really feel I have to. And then I keep hearing that the Jacob's Ladder, which is towards the end of the first leg, uh, like towards the turnaround point, is really the steepest part, like you're on your hands and knees at that point. So obviously I won't be jogging that and I'm gonna have to really make sure to try and conserve energy when I'm going through that portion. and back route the cutoff time remains unknown you tip up to the halfway point without a bead of sweat on your brow and fresh braced consternation at being pulled off the march then you haven't worked hard enough haven't trained hard enough <laughs> I guess we're going. <laughs> Oh, 
to give it to you, you Welsh out here. Freaking nuts. Soaked. Okay, feeling pretty good. I would say I'm on my second wind, but it's way too early to be feeling that way, so I'm not gonna say that. It's my view, there's a lot of sheep out here. Oh sure, yeah. Nice to meet you, yeah. Yeah. My name's Chris. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you too. I'm Dan. This is all downhill now until the halfway point anyway. Oh, is it really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that feels yeah. awesome to hear that. In fact, if anything, it just gets better. Though. Well, I haven't done Jacob's Ladder yet, right? Jacob, no. Jacob's Ladder. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going, mate? Yeah. Oh, we already did Jacob's Ladder? It's all the way back there. In the winter, the lads slide down that on the rafts. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other way to do it. <laughs> Super awesome to see all the fans out here. I had no idea there was gonna be so many fans out here in the UK. I mean, that's, I've probably shook hands with about 10 of y'all out there so far. Super awesome, man, super humbling. It's motivated me to go faster and do this. We still got work to do. Look at you, freaking crushing it. Ross, turn around. Ah, yeah. 276. Okay. 276. Oh, boys. Thank you. All right, just reached the turnaround point. I stopped to take a piss and to down a hydration tablet and a one quart canteen. And so I'm a little lighter now, which is good, but I got there at about two hours, which means I've got two hours to get back with like 15 minutes to spare. So I can go maybe a minute slower on average pace to make it back in time. So we're gonna see if we can get it done. So far I'm feeling pretty good. This is definitely no joke though. It's really just because the uphills and the downhills both are super rocky, super unforgiving, and it's just really tough on the legs. Not to mention I'm soaking wet. But we're over the hump, just gotta make it back. A little smudgy guys, sorry. Beautiful scenery out there though. Look at that, I'm trying to enjoy it. Look at all that. That's cool, all the sheep. So the time's gonna be tough to make up because that last three, maybe four miles was a steady downhill. Now I gotta go back up it. Hello, there you are. Right, Told you I'd catch up. Come on, Cal. <laughs> you all right? Doing good. Living the dream. I'm living the dream, man. I don't want to be anywhere else right now. I think we're coming up on Jacob's Ladder, right? Oh, yeah. I didn't even realize that was it when we came down. Was that wind? Oh man, here she is. I am dreading that right now. Oh. All right guys, we have made it to Jacob's Ladder and it just looks horrible. I also look down most of the way and just try to get it out. notice a quality change because I had to 
switch cameras. Ran out of battery on the on the Hero 10, so we're working with the Hero 7 now. Yeah, this is that gut check moment, man. How we doing? Cooked. Ugh. Oh, it sucks. Got it, mate. He's got it. I don't know. Ooh, I thought this was a good idea. Who put these rocks here? Damn. Ugh. job. Fuck yeah, man. Man, that was rough. I did not give that proper credence before this. Last bit of pain, I can see the finish from here. Ooh, baby. I'm so cramped up right now. It's crazy. I'm gonna make it though. All right. Did you take a fall there. Huh? Did you take a fall there? Yeah, yeah that's right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Just made up the video. Oh man, look at that. 414, y'all. Yeah. Barely, right? Yeah. All right, I'll take it, man. Yeah, yeah. Congrats, you guys. Thank you. Hey, you motivated the hell out of me on that last leg. <laughs> the hell out of me. How are your legs? They are a lot better now. <laughs> Yeah, we feel fine now. I can go do it again. Yeah, we can go do it again. Let's go. Ken, thanks, Ken. My pleasure. Appreciate it. Thanks. Band is no joke. Serious. 415 is the plan B, right? 415 is the selection pass. Okay. I know. I know. I'm fresh. I don't have a weapon and all that, but I'll take it. Thanks, thanks, bro. Did you say absolutely accurate? 
I love the way you guys smell, man. Right? <laughs> Cool. Dude, yep. so Sid, the only other American out here. No, I, no, he's not. Oh, he's not. Are you American? Yeah. Oh. Two, the, two American. Three American. The three, okay. All right, Sid, one of the only three Americans out here, won the fan dance and won the crossfire rucksack for being the fastest. What was your time? 312. Three, t insane, dude. Seriously, that's absolutely that insane. I it out there, and this is a sick bag. Congrats, man. All right, brother. All right, guys, I finished the fan dance, and it was just barely successful. Um, honestly, it would have been successful whether I finished it uh, with the time that I had in mind or not. I would have been very happy because that was no joke at all. That was a tough event. But I finished it at 4.14, my goal was 4.15, so I'm super thrilled about that because I really wasn't sure I was gonna make it. When I got up the top of Jacob's Ladder, I was cramping up all over the place and uh, I was not at my goal time. I was actually six minutes off, so I was already thinking, I was like, there's just no way I'm gonna make this in time. But I just buckled down and I just took off as fast as I possibly could um, for that last three miles and I just barely made it on time. That's what happens when you don't give up, man. Got myself a super cool nifty patch better believe I'm gonna be sporting that bad boy. Hey, I wanna thank all you guys that were giving me so much support throughout the train up. Um, it was amazing how many guys I ran into here today. I wanna say it was upwards of like 20 to 25 of you I shook hands with or fist bumped. That was amazing. That was just so humbling. And thank you so much for all that support. I mean, it. especially when you guys saw me sucking out there on the trail and you were just like, let's go Gritty, you got this, let's go. That, that's awesome. The Espirit Corps out here um, with all the racers was super high. The teamwork and everybody rooting each other on was just phenomenal. One of the best events I've ever been to in my life. I will never forget that trudge going up Jacob's Ladder. That was straight misery. I know I'm gonna be paying for it for the next couple days. <laughs> but overall, a great experience. If you guys ever get the chance to come out here to Wales and do the fan dance, definitely do it. Totally worth doing, a great event, great people and just all around a good time, great challenge. For now, I'm gonna redeem this meal ticket and go eat as much food as I possibly can at this barbecue. <laughs> All right guys, what's going on? So it is the following day after the fan dance and I have one day left in Wales, so I figured I'd go around and see as many sites as I could uh, while I have the chance. And right now we're at Castle Koch or Castle Cock. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. It's C-O-C-H, but here it is. Pretty cool, right? We're just walking up on it right now. For all of you guys that were out there yesterday uh, that I shook hands with and met, fist bumped along the way, all that stuff, you guys are all absolute animals, all right? Very humbling to be able to go through that experience with you guys. And it's really good to know that there are guys and gals out there, you know, even as far away from where I live out here in Wales that are just as motivated as me and, and uh, willing to put themselves through punishment like that. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to Crossfire and, and give thanks to them for sponsoring this trip and sponsoring this video. Without their support, I wouldn't have been able to come out here and do this. So thank you so much for doing that. Remember, if you guys haven't checked out Crossfire, definitely go do so. I'll leave a link in the description and make sure that you use the code gritty fan dance to save yourself some money if you do decide to get a pack but overall guys great event i'm super fortunate to be able to come out here and put myself through that and super fortunate to have you guys continue to support i also want to take a quick second to thank all the members of the gritty patreon page here as always, I love having you guys as part of the Gritty Soldier Inner Circle, and I can't thank you enough for all your continued support. If you're interested in joining the Patreon and becoming a member of the Gritty Platoon, I'll drop a link in the description, go check that out. Thanks again to everyone out there that joined along with me throughout this whole journey. It's really been a ride. Overall, it was a great success. Um, for now, I really do wanna take in as much as I possibly can on my last day in Wales and get in some sightseeing. I definitely wanna go check out this castle because that looks pretty badass. So besides that, I've got nothing else for you and I'll see you on the next one.